I can't believe I'm still doing this. What is going on, everybody? My name is Ethan. Welcome back to Hardcap Games. Another episode here on the channel today, people. Today of more FPL action here for week number five. We are currently 0-4. Uh, we are more than halfway through the season. We don't have a win yet. Um, that's awesome. I love it. Um, I do have one update um, for you, which is that uh, Farrell who uh, was the coach of the Aston Vivalon, has um, informed me as, a, as of a couple of days ago that he is going to be stepping away from the league um, for some personal matters. So we called up our good friend Allosaurus and said, hey, would you mind coming back to play out the last three weeks? And he said, sure. What that means, though, is that we play Allosaurus next week. And if you remember, last season we beat him. So we have a chance, finally. Uh, I don't think we have a chance this week, though. Uh, Blue has been talking us up all week trying to say like no you have a chance you have a really good chance you have a good chance you have a good matchup i don't believe him i think he's a liar i don't trust him um because his team is really freaking good so let's go over his team let's go over what we're bringing let's jump right into the battle and lose another match once again so uh this is what he's got over here in red uh, he's got Iron Valiant, which is an absolutely absurd special attacker or physical attacker. It'll probably run booster energy speed just so that uh, he's the fastest thing on the field. I have nothing that can outspeed an Iron Valiant that is booster energy speed. Um, Weavile falls, I think it's about eight speed points short with a scarf. Um, Garchomp, of course, is Garchomp. Everyone knows what Garchomp does. He's, he's probably going to be coming with either Yachi Berry, Assault Fist, or Rocky Helmet. Um, which is going to be really obnoxious if it's Rocky Helmet, but if it's Yachi or Assault Fest, we can deal with it. Um, he'll have rough skin either way, though. Jirachi, we just don't have a response for Jirachi, really, other than just keep hitting it with knockoff or something. Um, Raikou is an incredible special attacker, um, very fast electric type at 115 speed. It's the second fastest mon. For Alligator, hits like an absolute truck uh, with some stab liquidations. Overquill, uh, gonna set up Toxic Spikes. I'm, ex I'm expecting Overquill to come this week, get up some Toxic Spikes and be super obnoxious. Um, Superior has a co has Contrary, and we all know what Superior does. He just goes for Leaf Storms and all of a sudden you can't beat him anymore. Cryogonal is his only hazard removal, so if he's trying to get rid of hazards, Cryogonal has to come, which sets him kind of in a little bit of a bind. So how much is he gonna run Boots? I don't know. Um, I don't think he wants to be taking unnecessary damage on Valiant or um, Jirachi or Raikou. Um, so he might be forced to bring Cryogonal knowing that we have Karkul right up here. Um, and then he has Tauros, Paldea, Blaze, and the Tauroses from this generation have been have proven to be the bane of my existence through the first two seasons. Uh, those are both his Terra Captains, uh, and they can be, we can check on that real fast, uh, his Cryogonal can be, geez, load faster, man, Ice, Electric, Ghost, and his Tauros can be Fire, Fairy, and Water. So, what are we bringing? That's a great question. So, first things first, we have uh, Karkul. Karkul is making his first appearance here. Uh, Akainu Jr. Uh, with the uh, Eviolite, as you do. Flame Body is going to be super important this week. He's also got Will O Wisp. We need to burn stuff. Uh, spikes, Temper Flare, Rapid Spin, and Will O Wisp. If a Will O Wisp misses, Temper Flare goes up to a base 150 power, which is why we're rocking with that. Uh, we're running a fully special defensive set. Um, I consider running physically offensive. Uh, we need to keep him alive, basically. Our entire plan hinges on being able to get up spikes and get rid of his toxic spikes. Um, so he's running 252 special defense, 252 HP, or 248 HP and 8 defense. Um, for no real reason other than that's what I felt like running. There wasn't a calc specifically that I went for on that one. Uh, Weavile here. Weavile is running protective pads um, to ensure that I don't take adverse contact effects like Rocky Helmet Rough Skin. So we're going to run protective pads. I don't think Blue knows that I know what this item is. So uh, that's because I learned what it did literally three days ago. <laughs> uh, triple Axle, super cool uh, little thing about it actually. Uh, triple Axle, because it hits three times, the first time will proc a Yachi Berry. The second time hits for normal damage, and the third time hits for normal damage. So really only the first one gets nerfed um, with the Yachi Berry, so I 
It makes me think he might just run a V, expecting me to maybe try and do ice moves other ways. But he has to expect that Weavile is going to be my number one way. So he actually might run Scarf Chomp, which is something I have to be aware of. Um, I need to kind of scope that out. The problem is, as we saw with um, with his full team, where is it, this one? Uh, his whole team is faster than like the entirety of my team. <laughs> the only thing I have that's really in a good speed bracket is Weavile being the fastest thing, but not for long. And Valiant decides he wants to be faster. Um, yeah, so we're running Triple Axle, Knock Off, Ice Shard, and Brick Break. Uh, Brick Break some pretty solid physical damage into him. Uh, he also gets rid of any screens he tries to set up. Um, Ice Shard has a nice priority. Uh, the speed that's right here, uh, the 192, or sorry, the 184 uh, is to outspeed, what was it again? I have to remind myself. I think it was a, a max speed. Garchomp. Let me check that. I remember what it is now. It's not to outspeed Raikou, it's to outspeed Iron Valiant if he, on the off chance he's not booster energy speed. It outspeeds him by one point. He's gonna be booster energy speed, so and I can't outspeed him if he does, so I'm not even bothering with it. Uh, up third is Wicca, our shiny Sylveon. Um, we're going with, uh, something interesting. I mean, it's not too interesting. It's Hyper Voice, Wish, Protect, and Roar. Um, if I can get some spikes up and I can just keep roaring stuff away, he doesn't have great responses into Sylveon other than hitting it with a Poison Jab from, uh, Garchomp, hitting it with a Poison Jab from Iron Valiant, or hitting it with a Poison move like Bar Barrage from, um... Overquill, that's his name. He doesn't really want to be taking any hyper voices with any of those mons though, so uh, I can I can roar them out maybe, force them into situations they don't want to be in. Uh, I can stop, um, what's his face? Ugly, superior from setting up. And uh, yeah, uh, any Calm Mind variants, like Calm Mind Raikou. We got smoked by Calm Mind Suicune a few weeks ago. Calm Mind Raikou, out of here. Um, running a fully defensive set to live some hits from Iron Valiant. Uh, I should say, I built this team in about seven minutes with um, Crit Cap last night. So, it is what it is. Um, Zapdos, Rocky Helmet, Heat Wave, Volt Switch, Roost, Discharge. His responses into Zapdos aren't great. Um, he's going to have to hit me physically. Which is great, because then he's going to be taking Rocky Helmet damage. Um, he has nothing that really resists a discharge. Superior and Cryogonal really don't, and, and Jirachi really don't want to take a heat wave. Volt Switch gives me prior, uh, give me pivot ability, except for when Garchomp is still around. Uh, it does make it a little bit tough. I think that his response into this thing is going to be a Stone Edge from Garchomp, or um, just hitting it with Tauros as hard as he can. Uh, then we have Choice Scarf, Latios. Um, I, I couldn't really figure out what else to do other than try and be faster than something if he's not booster energy valiant i outspeed valiant which is great luster purge draco meteor flip turn shadow ball um those moves cover a lot of my bases flip turn gives me some some movement Luster Purge and Draco, I have to be very careful because he has Overquill and he has Iron Valiant, which resists both of those. So most of the time, I'm probably just gonna be firing off Shadow Balls. I think I've brought this exact set before, actually. Um, I, I I don't feel confident about this team this week. Empoleon is here with Choppleberry. Uh, he lives a close combat from Iron Valiant and kills with Flash Cannon. Uh, hits, hits things hard with Surf, Flip Turn, and Ice Beam. Uh, he's pretty much hard walled by Feraligator, which is crazy to say. Um, but yeah, this team is uh, not great. We're going to lose. I don't really care anymore at this point. Uh, Blue's a great battler. He knows my team better than I do. But let's text him anyways. Let's get all connected and then hop into the battle and then get on out of here as fast as we can. All right. Here goes nothing. I'm anticipating to see which ones. Which ones do we think we're going to see here? Uh, I'm going to make a bold statement now. It's going to be Iron Valiant, Garchomp, Jirachi, Raikou, Superior over. That's my guess. Jirachi. Oh. No Garchomp. Uh, I'm going to lose that Tauros Paldea Blaze. That's sick. Um. Alright. Um, I, I think my whole plan is to maybe just lead Karkol. 
Um, only thing that really wants that I can really spike here is going to be Valiant. So the plan is going to kind of fall apart. He didn't bring any of his physical attackers. He brought all of his special attackers plus Valiant. No, not Valiant. Plus. Um, I guess we just lead Karkul and see what he wants to do. Let's just do that. Him with the GLHF. Uh, my plan for this match, I don't know if I said, is going to be to be sporadic. Um, I don't, I don't want to be predictable because he knows what I want to do. He knows what the moves I'm gonna make. So if they can make, if they, if they make no sense, then he's not gonna know what I'm doing. Neither will I, but oh well. We're just gonna lead Carcoal. We can get up our spikes. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I, w I wish I had rocks now for the cryogonal. Um, but I, I think that having temper flare is gonna be more important. He's probably looking at it like, why the heck did he bring Latios? I don't know either. To be completely honest, or Empoleon. I don't know what they do for me. I think I just I just didn't have any better options. I don't think Don Fan was horrible this matchup. Um, Orthrum I considered, but Orthrum couldn't do reliable damage going out. Infernape was close. I almost brought Infernape. Kind of wishing right now I did. Infernape would handle three of the things on his team there instead of Empoleon or Latios. He's probably thinking right now. Oh, he didn't bring Sword Dance. Nasty plus scorching. He didn't bring double setup. Ooh, he didn't bring double setup on Infernape. Oh, he's so he's so silly. He didn't he didn't do the one thing that could beat me. How would I know that, Blue? Who would think of that? Who would know to do that? Not me. Because you forget Blue, and you can you consistently forget this. That I'm not good at this, and I don't enjoy it. And at this point, I'm just hoping I make it to the end of the year, or the end of the season, without blowing my brains out. <laughs> um, he's gonna try and volt switch on me. I'm gonna get up my spikes. I don't, or he could aura sphere. That's gonna suck. Um, Tarkoal, Raiko, aura sphere does uh not too much actually. He could go for scald, and that would really. Suck. I can't get myself back up. I don't have rocks. He didn't bring. Actually, he didn't bring. What are his rock setters? What are his hazard setters? Uh, Jirachi with stealth rocks is all that he could have right now. Um, I, if, if he's gonna go for Scald. Do I want to go. I'm going for Spike. Alright, now who wants to do damage to this thing? Not Empoleon. Not you. Not you. None of you guys do. Sick. Um, do us for Scald again to try and get rid of me. I think Empoleon's my best spot. Go Empoleon. Yep, here comes a burn. I should have picked something that could do damage back to him. Now he's going to Thunderbolt me. For 78% damage. Uh, and if I go into Sylveon, actually. Okay, let's get him predicting. He's going to go for Thunder. He's going to reveal his electric move now. Discharge. That was not who I wanted to go into. I meant to click Sylveon. So he's discharged, not too How much did that just thirty-one percent? So he's not fully invested. Because that should have done thirty-three to forty if he was invested. So he's not fully invested. He must be a more defensive set. If he's zero, if he's zero, that's a high roll. Interesting. So maybe he's. And, and you know, we saw it do nothing to Carcoal, too. Yeah. 
49% would have been a, a mid to high roll on. Okay, so he's got no he's got no investment. He's a he's a defensive Raikou. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's specially defense. Two er, fifty two. Maybe. Go back to Zap. He's got pressure. Let's full switch. He's gonna full switch first. Okay. Let's see full switch. Cryogonal. Okay. You know that's not the worst thing. So now cryogonal's here. Cryogonal just took 28%. That would have been exactly a max roll if he's a standard special defense set. Um, I'm Volt Switching now. And I think that I might want to go into Power Flare again and fire off a Temper Flare. I definitely don't want to go Lottie. Zapt isn't a great option here. Going Weavile and getting a knockoff right now into this thing would probably kill. Let's, let's do that. Let's go into him. Now, he doesn't know that I'm... whatever. But a Brick Break should kill. Okay, he's probably going to anticipate I'm going to go for a knockoff or a Brick Break. Um, either way, an Assault Fest wouldn't help him. Uh, it, it should kill either way. He's at 72 right now, and knockoff and brick break both kill from here. He's a standard, like, specially defensive set. Now, if he's, like, 252 defense for some stupid reason, um, it's gonna be unfortunate. Let's go for a knockoff. Either something's getting knocked off right now, here comes Taurus. We're gonna knock off the Taurus. He's gonna intimidate me. Okay. Get rid of his Rocky Helmet. That's fine. Um,. Throws Paldea Blaze. He intimidated me. Okay, I'm not doing more than 24 to this thing. He's gonna kill me with close combat. Um, I guess I go. Zap doesn't gonna die. Um, I'm gonna Sylveon. I'm gonna save right now. Okay, let's go Sylveon. Terra Water, Terra Blast. Okay, so we now know he's Terra Water. It doesn't matter. I can still Hyper Voice him for a ton of damage right now. Um, let's do it. Okay. I don't appreciate your tone, mister. Get out of here! <laughs> let's go, Sylveon. That's a huge pain in my butt out of the way. Because that thing has always been the bane of my existence in Draft League. Um, problem is, is that his whole team is faster than me. He's gonna go for an Iron Head right now. Uh, so if I go, there's Jirachi. Um, Iron Head and it's gonna hurt into Lottie, and I can't kill it. Napoleon's probably my best swap here, and I can just surf it. I don't know what he's gonna try and do. He's probably gonna try and wish. Although there's no reason for him to wish unless he's trying to get Cryogonal back up to full. Um, but Sylveon dies here if I don't go into Napoleon. So we're gonna go into Napoleon. He gets his own guys. Um, what's he gonna go for? He might just be like a standard UU Stealth Rock set. Uh, I'm gonna go for Surf. Oh, he wins. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, he's, he's AV. He's AV. That should have done 40% if he's a Salt Fest. Salt Fest makes it. They take you up to 28 would be a high roll. Uh, either that or he's... Did we see leftovers? We did not. Okay, so we can just assume it's a soul fest. Um... Okay, then who do we go into? Go back in the Akai Yumi Jr. No, because he's gonna kill me with Iron Head. I guess he won't. Uh, actually, okay, so I, I, I come in, I take... X amount from the damage. I think it's 25 from the rocks. No, I, th I think it's 12 from the rocks. I don't know. <laughs> I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Um, I go into Jirachi, hits me with an Iron Head, and I take Rock's damage. I'm definitely sitting at like 12, and then he outspeeds me, so Carpool's not to play. I'm going to Zapdos right now. I take Rock's damage because I'm Rocky Helmet for some reason. Oh, he'll take. He'll take Iron Head damage. Um, he's fast. I guess I could flip turn. Am I fast? I'm like, did I put any speed on him? I put no speed on him. If he put any, he's fast. There's a speed type. Um, I could slow flip turn into Weavile. Right? Weavile knockoff would kill from here. Let's do that. Slow flip turn okay, into U-turn first. Okay, that's fine. We get priority as well. But now we know he's U-turn, so I'm going to assume that his last move is probably Iron Head. I can't be taking unnecessary damage here. I think I maybe go back into Sylveon. No, because if I go into Sylveon instead... This card will only take 17%. I think I think I die. He's definitely he's way faster. I have to do it. I see why still be on here. Okay, so I'm okay. So we can't kill him with a with a freeze dry. So we just go for wish. Wanted to go into Jirachi, Jirachi's out of there. Here comes Superior. That's fine. I mean, Superior Leaf Storm's not going to do too I actually out. Mm, no, because he gets up the contrary. I can hyper voice him once as he goes for Leaf Storm and then roar him again. He glares me. Yep, okay. I figured Glare was going to come out. Hyper voice. And he didn't go for that, actually, which is nice. Jirachi again. Okay. He's probably going to anticipate me going into Empoleon, but I think I have to just do it anyways. I wish this dude got Defog still. That'd be pretty sick, huh? If he got Defog, that'd be awesome. Uh, we know he's AV. It doesn't really matter. I think he's going to U-turn again. I don't think he wants to be here. I'm going to flip turn. This is an Iron Head. Oh. Serene Grace, baby. That's just how the cookie crumbles. And two. Don't get three. Now we go into OTG. And we're faster than him. Because we're max speed. And we get a knockout. Oh, so much damage. That's so much damage. Um, does Ice Shard kill from here? If I get rid of this thing, I can, I can put my spikes back up. Weavile into Croagonal. Ice Shard does 17%. Cool, we can get our spikes back up. It's huge. Here's Valiant. He's gonna go for a close combat right now, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless he makes a crazy read right now. He goes for Moonblast, it doesn't matter, so I think I, I think I just go into Sylveon either way. I take rocks, he's gonna go for Moonblast, yep, that's not a lot. We didn't see booster energy, which is nice. Which means I think I, I, I might outspeed. 
Oh no, I definitely have to be able to adios, because he's not... Ooh, he's coming for actually. We'll just keep chipping down Jirachi. We know he doesn't have Wish. Back to Empoleon. I wish I had Roost. Here's Raikou again. I think it's her. Doofus. How much did it do on turn one? I think it's got 49%. I think Rock's damage coming in though, so I'll die to that. Um, I know he has Discharge. And we think he's a specially defensive set. I don't think he has any special attack investment whatsoever. I think he's a 252 HP, 252 special defense set. In which case, I need to get into Weavile. Um, he's gonna go first right now. Discharge is gonna do so much damage to me. Uh, I can go into Lottie too, maybe. He still has, he still has his Draco counter, so I can't I can't Draco him. Uh, Draco also wouldn't kill. I have to go into Weavile and hit him with a. It'd have to be a max triple axe at this point. So I can't get rid of Raikou yet. Um, did I go back into Sylveon? I'm not I'm taking really anything from Sylveon. I can, I can maybe wish I can do back up to full. Go back into Sylveon. Discharge doesn't do too much damage, which is nice. So we know he's Skull, Discharge, Volt, Switch. So we know Skull's not going to do too much damage. Switch. Go for Protect. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to get it back right now anyways. Um, Jirachi only does 49% to me, and I still can't kill it from you. Just so stupid. Go for Protect. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed on the turn I need to Protect. That's just my luck, man. This thing was my way to beat Valiant, but I can't get rid of it. How much do I take right now by going into Caracol from an Iron Head? 20? It's not doable. He's still faster. I'm just letting him get HP back, though. It's the annoying thing. Oh no, he doesn't have. I do. Um, what if I go into K? He hits me for a lot. He's going for Iron Head right now. I have to go into whatever, whatever is going to take the least amount from Iron Head. I think this is going to be going back into Penguin. Unfortunately. And I have to somehow. There was a salt vest. Kill. Here's right. Kill again. All right, take another one. The hacks are unreal. I I would be, I would be winning this game by a lot right now if these hacks weren't. <laughs> like like how, how do you how do you do that? How how I I'd be winning this game by a lot right now if I wasn't getting flinched and parried to death. Safe swap back into Carpool, maybe. 
Um, but he's gonna scald me again. That's Carp. Yeah, Skull's gonna kill me. I mean, obviously. He's 252 HP, 252 attack, or eight, 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 special defense. He still kills me. But if I don't get my spikes back up, I can't move. I have to go into Carcol. Yep. Going to Weavile again. I hit the biggest max in my life, and I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose 6 0 to a Raikou. Uh, I have to hit the max triple axel. I have to hit a max triple axel. It's 72.6% if he's a special defense variant, which I'm pretty confident he is. Either something right now is taking a triple axle and dying, or Raikou's gonna live it on one. If I can get it low enough that I can just Shadow Ball everything with Lottie, I can probably actually sweep this game with Latios. I mean, because I, I know I'm faster. I just start going for one, two. Crit on the last hit! That is gigantic. That is absolutely gigantic. Okay, okay. Um, I think now. Do I sack? I think I have to sack Pengi. And go into Lottie. And fire off something. Hold on. Hold on. I need to calc something. Um. All right, Jirachi would not die at this exact moment to a Luster Purge. Would die to a Shadow Ball. Um, Iron Valiant dies to a Luster Purge. It doesn't die to a Shadow Ball. Not even close, actually. Um, the Superior is at 56%. Draco would kill. Uh, and a Luster Purge would, in all like it would definitely. It has to be an absolute minimal. So what's the right play? Um, do I let Weavile die here? I mean, actually, I know I'm faster than him. So I just, do I just triple axle him again? Nope, he's faster than him. I was, in fact, not faster than him. He must be some Is he Scarf too? Is he Scarf as well? Do I lose because he's also strong? I'm gonna lose a 3 0. He goes for Moonblast right now, he's Scarf. He's Jirachi again. Jirachi's gone. So Wicked Dies coming in. Really annoying. Go for Ice King. He's gonna come with Leaf Storm. Here's the special attack cruise. Now I have to go into King. I'm gonna take a little bit of Rock's Chip. Um, I can't go for Draco. You know, I can go for Luster Purge. Does that kill an Iron Valiant? Oh, wait, it does. Okay, we go for Luster Purge. It doesn't kill. I 
Like, I'm valiant. If he's Scarf, I lose. He's Scarf, I lose. I'm going to grab the shotgun out of the basement. I'm paralyzed. I played a game perfectly. I play. I, I can't think of a mistake that I made in this battle. This was the best battle I've had all season. And I threw it away because he was Scarf and I wasn't. I'm done. I, <laughs> what? I had a 6-3 lead. If if Blue tells me anything, I'm banning him from the league. If you ban if you tell me anything, Blue, I'm banning you from the league.